Today, we're trying the pumpkin spice ice cap from Tim Hortons. Stick around, see if it's worth the trip. Hi guys. What's up everybody? Hey, hey. And welcome back to the channel. Like we just said a moment ago, today we are trying the pumpkin spice ice cap from Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Timmy's, baby. Canada. Doesn't get much more Canadian than Tim Hortons. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll save everybody from singing the rest. They're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> so, believe it or not, there is no official description on the Tim Hortons website or on the Uber Eats website. Huh? So. And why would there be? Because who wants to know what's in their drink? <laughs> what are you hiding, Tim Hortons? <laughs> what are you hiding? It's pumpkin. Find out. Pumpkin spice flavor, that's all we need to know. But without further ado, yes. actually, no, we need to let them know the price. Oh, yeah, what's the yeah, price? Yeah, let the good people know how for, much these bad boys cost. For a medium pumpkin spice ice cap, the total cost was $4.17, but as always, add a few little extra coins for tax. That's not bad, for just over four bucks before tax. That's definitely the cheapest thing we tried by at least a over a dollar, right? Eh? Yeah, Tim definitely cheaper than all the Starbucks stuff we've yeah. so far. Tim Hortons is generally like a dollar or two cheaper than mm -hmm. Starbucks, but so, the, sometimes there's a reason for Sometimes that. you give you paid for it. <laughs> sometimes they have to be cheaper. Um, all right. So without further ado, da, 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 da. there she be. Boom. Boom. And the straws are already in place. That is a yes. sexy looking drink. We got no time to waste on this channel. No, let's just blast into this one. There yes. on the cup is the good old maple leaf. That's as right. You can see. Whipped cream on top with, I'm gonna guess that's caramel drizzle, but again, there's no description, so. It looks like caramel drizzle, let's just assume it is. We're just yeah. gonna guess. And in case you don't know, the ice cap is kind of the equivalent of a Starbucks frappuccino. Yeah. Close, close, They're yeah. gonna disagree close, with me. Very close. But it's the same kind of texture. The and it, idea is the same, yeah. The idea is the same, it's just more usually, like, it's kind of a coffee flavor. Yeah. Looks like his antennas come out of there. Looks like a router Fra or something. <laughs> Frappuccino is a little more ice creamy, a little more dairy in it, I think. This is a little more ice. I don't know. They seem to think there's a big difference. I don't really see that much of a difference, but they're also old men who have problems with texture, hey. so. We have distinguished palates. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. It's starting to get a little melty. I'll just uh, mix some stuff in. I love ice caps, so I'm excited about this. Yeah, one. I'm really curious to try this. It's been a while since I've had a nice cap from Tim Hortons. So do I. I really like it. I'm surprised. I actually enjoyed that. Before Eric says anything, I'm gonna take a guess on what Eric's gonna say. I think he's gonna say it has too much pumpkin spice flavor. Because this tastes like a pumpkin pie in a cup. Yeah. What do you, is that what you're gonna say? No, I like it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Eric is so all over the place with these drinks. I don't know what's wrong with me. Something, something's changed inside no, I, of me. I didn't think it's pumpkin spice, and the yeah. one I tried, I've been really, this a fan tastes of? That, like apple pie. That's pumpkin pie. really good, guys. You know what's weird? I don't taste pumpkin pie. That's so strange. I, I taste maple. I taste like a hint of. I taste like an ice uh, an ice cappuccino yeah. with a hint of maple and a little bit of pumpkin spice underneath. Yeah. I, I right. just taste the pumpkin. No, I taste a bit of everything. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a few things, but I would wish really weird. Ugh. I really wish there was a description on the website because I'd yeah. like to know what's in here. Because am I crazy? Did you guys taste a little maple flavor in there? No, there's something like that. It's yeah, hard, but. I haven't had an ice cap in a really long time. I feel yeah. like it tastes like an ice cap with the pumpkin. <laughs> Duh, that's what it's supposed to be. It's really, really good. Like, dare I even say I may like this more than the um, Starbucks pumpkin Ooh, I, cappuccino? I, I can say I do. That's yeah. That's really good. I'm really surprised. This is definitely better than the Starbucks when we tried. And like Eric's saying, like this one is more of an icy in there, so it's uh, little ice crystals. I don't know how you explain it. Like a slushy drink almost. It's like finely, finely chopped ice. Yeah, it's kind of like a slushy drink almost, the, the consistency of it. But uh, <laughs> it's good, it's really good. The taste is, is really good. I'm I am really shocked. I'm blown away, because Tim Hortons has been like uh, a real big disappointment for a while for me now, and this is actually really good. Yeah, and, you and know the fact that it's pumpkin spice as well, and we're both like, it's good. It's right. To me, it t I think why this is so good is because 
most of the taste tastes like a regular ice cap, which are yep. they're delicious. Yeah. And yeah. then it has just the hint of flavoring. It's not overpowering. No, no, yeah, exactly. It's, they just did it perfectly. Yeah, yeah it's a, just a really nice mix there of the coffee flavor with the pumpkin and the caramel and flavor things. Maybe taste some maple in there. There's a few things in that glass for sure, and they taste really good. It's just hard to tell exactly what those flavors are. Like I said, it would be nice yeah. if we had a, a menu somewhere. If we find it, I'll put a picture here. <laughs> yeah, if we so find it online. What's in it. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Tim Hortons, well done. I'm really excited about this, and I'm so glad there's a second one. Now we're gonna duke it out. And it's also it. cheaper than Starbucks, so another win. That's two wins. All right, guys, let's, the w there so let's, let's uh, clean her up and give our final verdict. Here comes the worth the trip. Here it comes. All right, guys, the answer is I'm still gonna ask, was it worth the trip to Tim Hortons? Surprisingly, yes, it was worth the trip to Tim Hortons. Uh, that drink was fantastic. I'm really surprised, as you can tell, by my <laughs> lovely demeanor. But that was awesome. If you guys get a chance, go check it out. Cause yeah, that was uh, that was t thumbs up. Yes, worth the trip. I think the fact that this tastes like amazing coffee first and pumpkin spice second or third even makes this a, a winning drink for me. So I'll say worth the trip. Uh, yeah, it was delicious. Like I said, I li love ice caps on their own, and this was just an extra added treat, and you can't beat the price. It's like $2, more than $2 cheaper than a Starbucks drink. Nice. Um, so yeah, if you have a Tim Hortons near you, which I know a lot of you guys out there don't, sorry, go get it. In Canada, it's on every corner, so. Yeah, yeah you gotta just walk out your front door and find it right there. <laughs> but there we go, guys. Three for three. Three for three. Get three for three. Going. Oh. Oh. Well done, kiddies. Bizarre world. Give me some of the three, three. I'm such a proud yeah. Canadian. No, I'm so <laughs> excited. I'm, yeah, that's awesome. That's good. I'm proud to be Canadian. Insert the flag here. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today's video, and thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, we have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. It really means a lot to us and it really does help our channel. So if you want to leave one of those, we'd really appreciate it. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. And while you're down there, go a little further down and comment on this video let us know what you think. And if you've had this creep before, what do you guys think of it? To my right, your left, we've got a video recommended fire offensive YouTube that's recommended, so it's gonna be fantastic. And underneath that, we've got a place of videos. Click that and you'll watch a whole bunch of videos on our own. YouTube and chill. Bye, Bye guys. guys.